Welcome to this Premiere Pro tutorial where I'm going to show you how to do this zoom effect. Looks like we're zooming into this footage in a more organic, natural way, almost like you were zooming in with your camera lens. All right, so I'm practicing with a good shot of this guy playing guitar, bass guitar. So you can follow along with any shot that you have or want. Now this footage is actually 4K and so when I'm zooming in, I don't wanna lose quality. So I'm actually going to change the sequence settings from the 4K footage to 1920 by 1080. And you could also just remember this when you are exporting to make sure that you're exporting at 1920 by 1080 instead of 4K. But I think setting the sequence settings is good. And then also I'm going to go ahead and right click and choose to set this clip to frame size, okay? So the way that we add this sort of zoom in effect is with an effect called transform. So if you type in transform under distort is the transform option. And this gives us a lot of the similar properties as the motion properties, but it also has this, this specific shutter angle, which is going to add that sort of zoom blur style, which is going to help sell this effect even more. So what we wanna do is go to our, go on our timeline, play it until you want to start zooming in. And then when you want to start zooming in, say like after he starts playing those notes, we're going to set a keyframe for scale and position, okay? Then we're gonna move forward just a few frames, half a second, and then zoom in to where we want to zoom into. So increasing the scale and dragging our position over until we get to a good spot. Zoom up basically just scaling up and moving the position of our video until we get to a good spot. So this is a very basic zoom in that does not look that great. So we need to make some changes. The first thing we can do is select these keyframes, right click and choose Bezier under temporal interpolation. This adds a little bit more of a ramping effect. So instead of a linear animation, which is the same speed from keyframe to keyframe, it adds a little bit of a ramp. The next thing we can do is uncheck this use compositions shutter angle option here. And then underneath here, we can change the shutter angle. So if we increase this, go all the way up to 360 or so, it's going to add that sort of blur in between our keyframes. Now, it also adjusts just a little bit of the position. So I'm gonna to go to this last position keyframe and make sure we're in the right spot, something like that. So you might wanna set your, set your shutter angle first. So that looks pretty good. We might want this to be a little bit faster, so I'm gonna select those second keyframes and just drag them over just a little bit. It's looking even better. That's a pretty good natural zoom. Now to adjust this even more, I'm going to hit these arrow drop downs and zoom in where we can actually adjust the ramping of speed even more. So now if you click these keyframes, you see these handles appear. And this velocity graph is representing the speed of this animation. So if we take these handles and we actually drag them in, we are creating more of a ramp and more of an organic position change. And then same thing if we go to scale and we take the velocity down here and ramp it in, this is adjusting sort of the zoom as well. And so if we match the zoom ramp to the position ramp a little bit more, you get more of a natural but sort of jumping zoom in. If you wanna have a little bit of a zoom in, then zoom out, you could take this second keyframes handle up here for scale and actually drag it up. So this is actually going to zoom in and then zoom out. So that's kind of a cool, you can be a little even more subtle with it, something like that. So it snaps in over there. 
it really depends on what style you're going for. But I think sort of the simple zoom in with this custom speed ramp that we've created by dragging the handles in for the position velocity and the scale velocity here really sells this effect. So that's looking really good. Now, say we want to apply this same zoom to another clip. If we take another video clip and then we copy this transform effect, copy it, paste it to this new one, we get the same zoom in. Now, it doesn't work perfectly yet because it's zooming into the same position as that guitar shot. So what we need to do is go to that second keyframe, the final keyframe, and I'm using these arrow buttons here to get to it right here to land on that keyframe and then I'm just going to move this over and then down maybe we want to end there maybe even zoom out just a little bit and now we have the same ramp for this effect and it's already applied instead of having to do it all from scratch you could even apply it to a, an a, adjustment layer and quickly just copy and paste the adjustment layer with this effect, the transform effect on it, on top of another clip, and that would work too. Cool. This is how you do that zoom effect. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and we'll see you in another lesson.